On April 26, 1986, a catastrophic nuclear accident occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the town of Pripyat, Ukraine. This event is considered the most severe nuclear disaster in history. The explosion at Reactor 4 released massive amounts of radioactive particles into the atmosphere, which spread over large parts of Europe. It not only caused immediate deaths, but also had long-lasting effects on human health, the environment, and future nuclear policies. To fully understand the scope of the disaster, it's important to look at the causes, the immediate aftermath, the environmental consequences, and the human toll. The Chernobyl disaster remains an event that is still studied today, with lessons learned being applied to nuclear safety protocols worldwide. The impact of Chernobyl extended far beyond the immediate zone of contamination, and even today, the region remains a symbol of the dangers of nuclear power when safety is compromised. The Chernobyl disaster happened during a routine safety test at Reactor 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The purpose of the test was to simulate a power failure to determine whether the plant could safely shut down without losing power to essential systems. However, a series of mistakes led to the explosion. First, Reactor 4 was using a type of nuclear reactor called an RBMK reactor, which had inherent design flaws. These reactors were prone to instability at low power levels, a crucial factor in the disaster. The operators, following a series of incorrect procedures, reduced the power output too much, making the reactor unstable. As the test began, the reactor's power output unexpectedly spiked, causing a massive increase in heat and pressure. This uncontrollable reaction led to a violent explosion. The explosion ruptured the reactor, and the graphite moderator used to control the reaction caught fire, which helped spread radioactive material into the environment. The plant workers, many of whom were untrained for such a critical situation, were unable to prevent the chain reaction that followed, resulting in the catastrophic release of radiation. Immediately after the explosion, a huge fire broke out at the plant. The blast was so powerful that it blew the roof off Reactor 4, exposing the radioactive core to the open air. The fire burned for several days, releasing more radioactive particles into the atmosphere. The first responders, including firefighters and plant workers, were unaware of the radiation exposure they were facing. Two plant workers died instantly from the explosion, and in the following days, 29 more people died from acute radiation sickness. The evacuation of the nearby town of Pripyat was delayed for over 24 hours, leaving the residents exposed to dangerous levels of radiation. Eventually, all 49,000 residents were evacuated, and the town was abandoned. But many residents were already contaminated by the time they left. At first, Soviet authorities tried to downplay the event, claiming there was no significant danger. However, the growing number of reports of illness and the increasing radiation readings forced them to admit the scale of the disaster. By the time the authorities acted, radiation had already begun to spread far beyond the immediate vicinity of Chernobyl, affecting people across Europe. The environmental consequences of the Chernobyl disaster were severe and long-lasting. The explosion and subsequent fire released large amounts of radioactive substances, including iodine-131, cesium-137, and strontium-90 into the air. These substances were carried by wind, contaminating vast areas of Europe, particularly Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. The area immediately surrounding Chernobyl became heavily contaminated. The government established a 30-kilometer exclusion zone around the plant, where no one was allowed to live, Within this zone, the environment suffered greatly. Forests and fields were contaminated, and wildlife was exposed to harmful levels of radiation. Although some animals survived, many species faced genetic mutations, and their populations dwindled. Interestingly, over time, the region has seen a surprising rebound in terms of plant and animal life. The lack of human activity has allowed nature to reclaim parts of the area, and Animals like wild boars, wolves, and deer have been seen in the zone. However, 
The long-term impact on wildlife remains a topic of scientific study. Even as nature seems to recover in some areas, the radioactive material remains in the soil and water, making large sections of the zone uninhabitable for decades, if not centuries. The contamination of the environment around Chernobyl continues to pose risks to health and safety. The human cost of the Chernobyl disaster extends far beyond the initial explosion. Thousands of people were exposed to radiation, either directly or through contaminated food and water. This exposure has led to significant health problems in the affected population. Many of the first responders, known as the liquidators, were exposed to dangerous radiation levels while they worked to extinguish the fires and contain the disaster. These workers suffered from a range of health problems, including acute radiation sickness, and many later developed cancers, particularly thyroid cancer. The residents of Pripyat, who were exposed to radiation before being evacuated, also faced long-term health risks. Studies have shown a higher incidence of thyroid cancer, particularly in children who were living in the area at the time of the explosion. Other cancers and genetic mutations have also been linked to radiation exposure. Beyond physical health, the psychological toll of the disaster was immense. Thousands of people were forced to leave their homes and communities with no hope of returning. Many survivors still suffer from depression, anxiety, and PTSD. The fear of radiation exposure and the trauma of losing everything in an instant have left deep scars on the affected population. The Chernobyl disaster fundamentally changed the way the world views nuclear energy and its safety. The event led to widespread reforms in the nuclear industry, with more stringent safety protocols and improved reactor designs being implemented worldwide. The disaster exposed serious flaws in Soviet-era nuclear practices, which were largely based on secrecy and a lack of transparency. In the years following Chernobyl, the global nuclear industry faced increased scrutiny. Many countries re-evaluated their nuclear energy policies, and some, like Germany, decided to phase out nuclear power altogether. The event also highlighted the need for better international cooperation and communication in the event of nuclear emergencies. At the site of the disaster, the work to contain the radioactive material continues. The original concrete sarcophagus built to enclose Reactor 4 was deteriorating, and in 2016, a new, larger structure called the New Safe Confinement was completed. This massive steel structure now covers the reactor, providing additional protection from the release of radiation. Chernobyl remains a powerful reminder of the potential dangers of nuclear energy when safety is compromised. Today, the area surrounding the plant remains a symbol of resilience as it stands as a lesson in both the risks and the recovery possible after a disaster. The ongoing efforts to manage and contain the site are part of a broader effort to ensure that a tragedy like Chernobyl never happens again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more history.